Have you guys heard of Dude Perfect? Well, they do some crazy trick shots on YouTube, sometimes with basketballs, sometimes they even use like bow and arrows. And most people think there's only five members of Dude Perfect. But what if I told you there was a secret sixth member of Dude Perfect? And what if I told you his name? was Coach Frank. Yeah. Guys, today we have some crazy basketball trick shots planned. We even have the world's largest bottle flip planned. Yes, I am very excited. I've never done anything like this before in Skate 3, so I am very excited. And as always, guys, if you want to send in any of your own Skate 3 challenges or your own Skate 3 trick shots, make sure you send them to me on my subreddit. We're almost at 5,000 members. If you want to join my subreddit, the link will be down in the description. That's where I get all of my challenges for these videos. But all right, guys, without further ado, let's get into our first ever Skate 3 trick shot. Our first challenge today comes from Teams Burglar Skate on on my subreddit. Let's watch this. So on top of the clock tower, they use their skateboard to push a soccer ball off the clock tower. And oh, it bounces out of the basketball hoop, but then wait for it. Oh, rolls back in perfectly. That is the first basketball trick shot I've ever seen on Skate 3. And I'm very excited to try it myself. We have to go all the way up there and try to somehow drop a soccer ball into a basketball hoop. Well, we have to use like a little trash can for the hoop. This is gonna be insane. All right, let's get up there. The easiest way, in my opinion, is just to use a couple of launch glitches. It's crazy that even in 2022, people are still finding crazy new things to do with this game. We're literally doing trick shots today. We are literally becoming dude perfect. Oh, don't tell me I can't make that jump. And go! You gotta be kidding me. I'm just gonna get a better freaking launch glitch. There we go. That's what I needed the first time, <laughs> all the way up onto the roof. And from here, we can do another launch glitch and we'll be right on top of the clock tower. And go. Okay. <laughs> it launched me straight back. The real challenge of this episode is getting on top of the clock tower. There we go. Look at that perfect launch and fly right in. Spread eagle. Hey, yes. Yo. Perfect landing. And boom. Just like that. We're on top of the clock tower. First thing we have to do is place our soccer ball up here. This is going to be really hard. We're going to have to be so precise. We'll put that right about there. That's like literally right on the edge. Okay. Next, we're going to have to jump all the way down and we're going to have to place our basketball hoop. Coach Frank looks like he's about to go play some pickup basketball. So this is perfect. I have no idea where to place this. We're just going to have to guess, I think, until we try it once or twice. All right. Here it is. The basketball hoop. Oh, what the heck? It's in the ground. Put it right about here. I literally have no idea where we're going to need to put this. Okay, perfect. So all they did was put this on top of the hoop like that so that the soccer ball has a place to go in and stay in. So I don't think the soccer ball could actually go through the basketball net. This whole setup looks pretty good to me. All right, I have no idea if this is going to work, but I'm excited to try it either way. What if I just got it first try? Ready? And soccer kick. Oh my God, the ball didn't even go close. Oh my gosh, that... Wow, wait, this is gonna be really hard. <laughs> Look at it go, it's still bouncing. Oh my gosh. Maybe I just wanna gently push it. Oh, that was probably too far to the left, I think. Yep, I can see the ball just rolling away. Get a little running start, perhaps, and boop. Oh, that felt good. Yes, oh, there it goes. <gasps> oh, we went right behind it. We just need to go a little tiny bit softer, I think. A little bit softer, and we should be good. Oh, that one was kinda close. Look at how close it was. Oh, it went off the backboard. It's kinda like the bottle flip where I don't have that much of a say of where the ball goes, but still, it's fun. Okay, oh, oh my gosh, it went off the rim. How close was that? Oh my gosh, right off the rim. I bet you guys did not expect to be watching this today. A man try to kick a soccer ball into a basketball hoop in a video game. This is the hardest K3 challenge I've done in a while. Come on, get in the net. Oh, oh, wait, no, I, I hit it with my head. Wait, where did it go? Oh, there it is. I thought that one was going in. It literally bounced off my head. Oh my gosh. I came in and just smacked it with my head. Oh, and look how close it was to going in. Oh, it just bounced the wrong way. I'm losing my mind right now. Come on, soccer ball. Oh, yeah. No, that went in and out. I swear. <gasps> it doesn't help that the trash can is literally the size of the soccer ball. So it has to be. Oh my God. Are you kidding me? Oh, my hand. Oh, where's the ball? Where's the ball? What if I just knocked it in with my hand? Oh my gosh, I literally keep hitting it on the way down. Oh yes, what a touch. What a touch. Oh, get in, get in. With it. No, oh, oh, oh my God, are you kidding me? There's no way that just happened. Off the bounce, I thought that one was going in, but look at what just happened. Oh, it just barely didn't go in. Fish tail, fish tail. Gentle nudge. Gentle nudge. Oh, God, I can't see anything. What am I doing? What if it was just in? Yeah, that wasn't embarrassing. Good thing nobody was watching. Where is it? What if it was actually in there? Moment of truth. Is it in the tin? Oh, it is. Oh, it actually is. What? Oh, my gosh. Okay, we got to watch the replay. Out of the air. No way. It was perfect. Oh, my gosh. Just straight in. I could not. 
have done it any better than that. It didn't even bounce out. It went straight in. All right, let's go. First trick shot complete. Let's film it so you guys can see the whole clip. I present to you my first Skate 3 trick shot. Oh my, that is perfect. It went right in. And then we pan over and Coach Frank's like, where's the ball? Where'd the ball go? That was awesome. I could not have done that any better. Well, all right, guys, there is our first trick shot complete. Let's head on to the next one. Our next trick shot comes from Mr. Skate123. And we've actually watched this clip on my channel before. As you can see, he's rolling up to a coffee cup. He kick flips and his front foot kicks the cup into a trash can and not only that if you watch this next clip he does like a nose slide and it also pushes a like water bottle into a trash can i think we should try some of those if i could do a kick flip and my foot kick a can into a trash can i think that's a pretty awesome trick shot and we might as well go to the same spot he did it we don't go to the uh carvatron very often here we are at the carvatron skate park we need to find a place to put a coffee cup now well coach frank is goofy so we need to put a coffee cup i think maybe on this because then we kick flip and the foot will kick it in <laughs> all right this is crazy i've never tried anything like this before so let's grab our dlc coffee cup here we're gonna have to put it right on the edge of this the hard part here is gonna be setting the coffee cup to my marker but it's so small how do i select it i guess i'm just gonna have to replace the cup every time that's gonna get annoying but maybe we'll get lucky and we'll just get it in first try are you sure about that? All right, we need to grab another garbage bin. This is the only time I've ever used these in Skate 3, but I think this is a good use for them. Will it work? I have literally no idea. And every time I try, I'm going to have to reset the coffee cup, but that's okay. What if I actually did this first try? That would be awesome. And kick flip. That, I don't even think that was close. Let's see. We need that front foot. Okay, that wasn't too far off. I actually have to get closer, though. It's just scary getting closer. Okay, here we go. And kick flip. Oh, I think that was close. Oh, yeah, okay. We need to kick flip a little later. And kick flip. Oh, oh, I think it actually went in. Wait, I think we got it, but that was so bad. I literally fell off my board. Is it in there, though? Yep, it's definitely in there. Yes, look at that. Okay, we're not going to count that, but that was a good try. I think it only counts if we ride away from the kick flip. Oh, my foot didn't even hit it. I'm pretty sure the board hit it. All right. Well, it, we kind of hit it with our foot, but that was, that was a pretty a decent attempt. All right, here we go. Try number two. I guess this is like try number four, but bang. Oh! Oh my gosh, we did it. That was perfect. Oh, it went straight in and we landed the kickflip. Wow. Okay. That was a lot easier than I was expecting it to be. Look at this guy's kickflip. Boop. Oh, right off the Jordans straight into the garbage can. What I want to do next is try the nose slide because that wasn't too difficult, but let's get a good replay of it just because. All right, here we go. Our second trick shot clip of the day. Oh, the slow-mo is so cool. You can see there's actually another coffee cup in there already. That was from our first attempt, but all right, there we go. That was actually sick. All right, so what we want to try to do now is actually do a nose slide, have the nose of the board hit the coffee cup into a trash can. So let's place down our trash can again. I think this time we're going to want it to be on the end though, right? I don't really know. The last challenge wasn't too difficult, so I'm hoping this one won't be either. And let's grab another coffee cup here. Perfect. Oh, where the heck is it? Oh, there it is. It's so small. And boop, right there. Okay. Now we're going to head over here. All right, let's give this a try. I don't know how fast we want to be going here. This is kind of slow, but maybe that'll be good. Oh my God, I missed the nose slide. Oh, and every time I knock the cup over, I'm going to have to put another one there. So if there's going to be like a pile of them eventually. All right, here we go. Coffee cup number two. That one totally missed. Coffee cup number three. Okay, there we go. And nose slide. Perfect. Boop. Oh, was that first try? Well, I guess that was second try. I think that went straight in though, right? But for some reason that wasn't very satisfying. I think it's because I hit the trash can at the end. Like, boop, yep. I kind of like bonked off of it. I think we should be going faster. I think that would make it better. Yeah, this time I definitely want to be going faster because that clip was kind of lame. Also, I'm pretty sure for the nose slide, they actually used a water bottle, not a coffee cup. So let's actually use a water bottle this time. We'll switch it up. We had a soccer ball trick shot, a coffee cup trick shot. Now we'll get, hopefully, the water bottle trick shot. Let's get the nose slide. Boom. Oh my gosh, I knocked everything over. Let's see. What can we do here? Nose slide. Okay. Or just land right on it. We're going to try this until we get a really good one. So I want it to look cool. Oh, just like that. And we landed fakey. That was sick. That was literally perfect. Right when I said I wanted it to be perfect. Let's see. Can we see in there? Not really. Oh, wait, is it not in there? I swear I saw it go in there. Wait, did it not go in? Let's see. Oh my god, it rimmed out. Are you kidding me? I thought that was perfect. Oh, that one looks so good too. Come on, I want to get the perfect clip for this. I feel like this could look so cool. Yep. Oh, we went too far to the right. Slower is definitely the move though. In slow-mo, you can't even tell how fast I'm going. Oh, I did a board slide and hit it in. But unfortunately, I'm trying to do a no slide. Oh, did it go in? Yes, it did. Okay, well, at least we got like a bonus challenge. Oh my god. <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't even know what happened there. All right, here we go. No slide. No, not the board slide. Oh, I'm in the trash can again. Oh, I'm like fully in the trash can. Oh, if you look at my prop meter in the top right, it's already getting yellow, which means I'm going to have to actually go through and delete a bunch of these water bottles so I can keep placing more. I'm not going to miss this time. Come on. For the trick shot. Yes. Yes. No, I got it in. I swear it's in, but the trash oh, can fell over. Look in there. Can you see it? Yes, it's sitting in there. Oh, come on. If only the trash can stayed up. This is way harder than the kickflip, I must say. Bang. Yes! Oh, that was so clean. All right, finally, we got the trick shot and hopefully a pretty good clip. Just make sure it's in there. Can we see it? Yes, I can see it. It's in there. That was tough. Look at all the water bottles on the ground, guys. That trick shot was actually really hard. After the kickflip, I thought this one would be really easy, but that took a lot of tries. All right, let's see. We had a nice front side nose slide and then boop. Oh, like my heel kicked it in. That was sick. All the way out to fakey. And the revert. All right, we'll take that. Let's film it. Here we go. Our third trick shot of the day. Oh, perfectly clean. All right. I'm really enjoying these trick shots, guys. Look at all the water bottles on the ground. Oh, my gosh. All right, let's move on. Guys, you know we have to end the trick shot video with a bang. We are headed to do the biggest bottle flip ever done in Skate 3. You may remember that I actually did a bottle flip off of the clock tower a few videos ago, and that was awesome. But we're going to go a lot higher this time. We're actually going to head downtown and go to the tallest building in the game and try to do the bottle flip off of there. Here we are downtown, and if you look up to the right, that's the building we're gonna try to be getting on. Getting up there is not super easy, but luckily I've done it a few times before. I'll spare you guys the details, but basically we're gonna do some launch glitches. All right, so we're actually gonna start on like the side of this building. We're gonna go over here. And then from here, we can actually do the launch glitch to get up onto these buildings. So basically we can use this launch ramp. Okay, not like that. Uh, if you get a good launch, it'll launch you up onto basically the first spot you need to be. Yep, there we go. That was absolutely perfect. And then we can use another launch glitch to get a little bit higher, just like this. Oh, that was absolutely perfect as well. Don't fall, perfect. Honestly, this is one of the hardest parts right here. Oh, we gotta stay on this tightrope. And perfect. Okay, set our marker here. So we can actually do another launch glitch from here. But if you wanna increase your chances, you can actually throw some plywood on here, just like, like so nice yes okay jump off and oh my god that was really clean we got on top of the building but as you guys know we're not trying to get on top of this building we're trying to get on top of that building what the oh my oh. okay that's perfect and jump off back go back no i went too far that was a perfect one though man you're embarrassing yourself okay coach. that looks pretty good and jump off oh no oh we hit the side okay Getting closer, and okay, hey, that's pretty close. All right, one final step. We do need to use some more plywood. We place one like this, and then another one perpendicular. We can actually create a little bit of another launch glitch ramp. Okay, perfect. And boop, right on top. Nice gentle landing. There we go. We're on top. Oh, almost fell off. On top of the highest building in the game. All right, the last thing we have to do here is put our Miracle Whip bottle down and honestly just hope for the best. I'm going to put it over here. We'll launch it off the building this way. And starting now, guys, there's nothing else I can do. There's, it's not in my hands anymore. It's up to the Skate 3 gods to decide what happens to this bottle. Oh, no. We got to follow it. Ah, no. It is going to be a little hard to see where the bottle goes. Okay, I don't see it at all right now. Where did it go? What if it's just upright? We just landed it. Um, I think we lost the bottle, guys. I'm going to be honest. Oh, my God. What am I doing right now? This could take forever. We're literally on the highest building in the game. But okay, at least we can follow it pretty easily here, it looks like. And oh, it's going this way. There's just so many things for it to bump into. It's like such a random thing. Okay, come on. Land upright. Land. Oh, oh, oh my God. It almost landed on the cap. R &D. Come on, That's Miracle Whip. We need discovered. a miracle. Have I made that joke before? Probably. Oh, I hit it with my head there. That was kind of cool. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing anymore, guys. <laughs> I'm literally just knocking it off and hoping for the best. Oh, oh, I'm like right on it. Down it goes. Okay, big spin. Oh, no. What? I'm my camera angle. Okay, there we go. We can see it. Oh, it's actually kind of upright. Oh, my God. What if we land right next to it and it's upright? That would be perfect. Okay. Where's it going? In the trees? What? It just disappeared. I somehow knew this would be the hardest challenge of the episode, guys. I mean, it's so random. Every single thing it hits changes its trajectory, and we want to get it to land upright. Hopefully... Oh, it's going to hit me. Okay, it hit me for good luck. Oh, it's like hitting me on the way down. That's sick. Okay, now let's get a perfect line. Off the building? Yes? No. Oh, baby! Oh, my God. Please be upright. Please be upright. Oh, <gasps> nope. I don't know what's happening. Okay, but we're still up. We're still alive somehow. Let's see. Where is it? Okay, there it is. I see it. I see it. I'm tracking it. I'm tracking it. 
So far, so good. Yep, there it goes. Oh, this could be it. Oh my god, this could be it. It made it to the ground. Okay, it's bouncing around. It's spinning. It's spinning. It's spinning. It's spinning. Yes, come on. Stay upright. Oh, yes. Let's go. Oh my god, that was so nerve-wracking. It was so close to not landing. But guys, we got it to land on its cap. Oh my god. Gosh, it barely came back around. The biggest bottle flip in Skate 3 complete. All right, let's try to film this. This is going to be hard to film. I'm going to have to set like a billion keyframes for this, but this is going to be a great clip. A few moments later. All right, guys, look at how many keyframes I had to use to follow this bottle all the way down. But all right, let's watch the final clip. All right, that was awesome. I really liked that clip, and I really liked the way it landed. That was so perfect. Well, all right, guys, that is going to do it for this Skate 3 Trick Shots video. I hope you enjoyed it. Once again, if you'd like to send in any of your own Skate 3 challenges or any Skate 3 Trick Shots, please send them to me on my subreddit. The link is down in the description. I get all these challenges from you guys on my subreddit. So thank you guys for joining. We're almost at 5,000 members, so I'd love it if you joined. But anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a thumbs up. And as always, stay sexy. See you guys.